G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to my next episode in building my storage for my camping and hiking gear and including my cam uh, my uh, camera gear will be over here. Now since the last video I found smaller offcuts and I thought okay what can I do with these and I was looking down here in the corner which I was going to box off because I didn't think I could get any use out of it but then I had a closer look and found out one of the actual pieces of wood I put down there for the support was for this shelf here. But I cut that shelf off from there to there so it wasn't needed. So let me show you what I've done and how I'm going to use it. So this is where I'm on about. You can see just here I've got my boots and they fit nice under the bottom. But I have done a bit more panelling and soundproofing behind this across that wall there and across the bottom using the offcuts. But I had a piece of wood coming down which was supporting this shelf here, this section. But because I cut it out from this point, that was no longer needed to connect this to because I got this as a support. So this now is going to be a shoe rack. I'm going to have my walking boots down at the bottom. I've got to get a new pair of walking shoes because these are falling apart. So they'll go down there. I'll probably put my normal shoes in there and anything else I need. And I'm thinking about up at the top in the section up here. I don't know if you can see. I'll have my boot cleaning kit or my polish, my dubbing or my cloths up out of the way. So then that means that's not going to be a lost space. I'm going to be able to use uti utilise it or use it. So, yep, slowly coming along. Another thing I'm going to be changing today is the light strips up here. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm going to be lowering them down. So when I put my sound dampening up here to just take the echo out of the room, so it's just nice for doing any uh, audio work. I've measured it and it actually fits just nice with the sound deadener on that and that sits just below it and the best part about the lights now is the inverter turned up yesterday so let's get the little remote actually I turned it off at the uh, the PowerPoint I have lights and there's different brightnesses Let's show you from this way. There you go, three levels, 100, 50, and 25. Now you can't see that much in the uh, daytime, but it did look really nice last night in the dark. So there's the inverter in there. And one thing they're doing is turning this as uh, a general electrics cupboard with just bits and bobs over that side. I'm going to install uh, another power point coming off this one here, so just basically extending the power cord I've made, which should be safe enough because I'm only got the low voltage stuff coming off it. I've got a second set of lights that I'm actually thinking of putting up in these top cupboards here. And my stepdaughter gave me a voucher for the hardware store and I got, I can't remember if it was a five meter length of LED lights that when I've got the backing up there, which I'm gonna be using, I've decided, the same wood, just not as thick, with soundproof behind, just to finish it off up at the top along both here, just up to that point for now. And then when I start working in the office, I'll do the same with soundproofing across there and just continue the theme off it. But the set of lights, it's just like a roll of the LED lights, which I think changes colour and all a lot. I'll run along the top of where the wood is with the soundproof and behind, just to light up the architraving up there. Okay, I've got 12 pieces of wood for the shelving. I've just been picked up. So I'm hoping to get along the top here, finished today. And most of this one here. And that means I can actually organize some of my kits and get it put away in a, 
where I can reach it, where the stuff I'm not using is going to be out of the way a bit, and then just take it out when I come to do at the back of the shelf in there with the soundproofing and the same wood. Like I said, I just pointed out there, but as a thinner, I'll use that across the back. Uh, and that actually works out cheaper than buying this tongue and groove stuff. And it's only a couple of millimeters thicker. So now the next thing I need to get done <laughs> is clear that section of shelving up there to get that done. So here we go. Well, I've got this shelving off. I was going to put a groove over the top of the wiring, but I decided to got a 18 mil hole to go through, so all the fittings are where they connect the lights. We'll just go through there, and when I put the soundproof in or sound editing in. This stuff up there, it actually was thick enough to uh, hide the hole, hide, hide the hole <laughs> from vision. Tuck that there and uh, out the way. Okay, back there, Lou. Mind your ears. That one done. <laughs> Making a mess below, but it's got to be sorted out. So now, don't think that one fits through. Oh, it does. Both sides will go through there with ease and just sit nice and comfortable. And what I'll do, I'll actually tuck these back. Keep going to nice and snug. Yeah, I can either sit in there or just this... which way that way or that way. I think they're hiding underneath or hiding from sight. I can't see it if I'm looking from this direction. So I'll pin that there. But first, I've got to lower the lights down. You can see if there uh, the little clip. I'll unscrew that and I'm just going to move it down to here. And then you have to light it clips back and holds there. Let's load it down. And can't hold that in place. That's it. Another one over here. Nice, sits nice and flush with the bottom there. I just tack that up there out of the way. Come on, one fingers. And you get the cables held up out of the way. And let's just have a look. Because this is what's going to be sitting in there. Yep, that's going to be sat up there. The light will still come below it. Is it plenty of space?
Okay, I'll do them lights afterwards. I'll get these ones lowered and to get this shelf on and then we can start on the top one after that. better shining more light down onto the countertop or desktop whatever you want to call it worked up and if you can see got overhang here and the support beams there so what I might do is have the full length from this end and trim it just uh, above the uh, my backpack storage so the actual main support is going to be here and that's a wider piece uh, between this section and the backpack section so I should be able to get two pieces of wood on there without adding any supports on the side Look. lift that Yep, they're going to be able to go on there without cutting and it's just cutting the wood for the section down there let me show you it just sits on this just nice enough for a second piece over that side I've cut it properly. Fingers crossed, everyone. Yes, it's nice. Yes, nice. Now time to screw. What well, we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten, nine, ten, sixteen screws. And there's my box. There we go, put this piece back on and I can load my tents onto there and then I'll move onto the top one. And this one, 
I'm going to be cutting here and then finishing the shelf from this point down to the end just to make it more stable just in case I put any weight on top I want something underneath to support it all I've taken the end all the way over past so there's a <coughs> excuse me about 10 12 centimeter uh, cavity down that end for wires and if I needed to put anything over there for more wires another power point high up or run lights up and into this top section which I'm thinking of doing and then again I think I mentioned earlier in the video about when I've done the panelling on the wall with the soundproof behind putting a light strip across the whole top of that one that you can turn really low or up and down just to give a bit more of a mood for when I'm making videos here just if you can see it if not I will like it uh, let's mark this off for cutting here first and then I'll measure uh, fit these and then I'll measure for them bits but if I've got in uh, now what I'll do I'll finish the uh, keep bouncing backwards and forwards I think I will finish the uh, where the backpack is put the type over there because that's where my sleeping bags are going to go down that end so I could get all those moved off the side here and off the floor over there and get them put away to make room in here uh, yeah I can get my ammo tins with my food and things in put up out of the way to clear the side there Yeah, then it's basically all that will be left is that little bit at the top if I don't have enough wood and that'll be the actual shelving parts of it done uh, I did want to finish the shelves at the bottom there get that shelving done there the smaller things and get the soundproof on the back because like I said before that's where the most of the noise comes from the television in the lounge so if I can damper that down to as little as possible that'd be great and then I think one of the last things we'll be doing is the excuse me the back panels here which will, again will have soundproofing in actually yeah, I've got the the back uh, the walls in the uh, where the backpacks go need the panels and soundproofing also yeah I think get this shelf done here get stuff put away if I've got the right uh, enough wood to finish that section above where the backpacks go I'll finish that shelving uh, then I can use get the sponge sound things put in here fitted up yeah get get that shelf at the top like I said I'll have to get that done if I don't have enough another time we should probably be looking at it another two lengths yeah it's about 1.2 meters so two lengths to finish that up there all right let's mark this get it cut and get this finished and that bit in there finished Okay, I'm going to call it a day now. What I've got done, actually completed the whole of the top shelf. We did the second shelf here all the way up to this point. Before I can finish this piece off, I've got some work to do at the back. Just put a bit of uh, paneling in there to close that off. And then I can cut the final piece of wood to match the shape of the uh, the cupboard in there because that's got a, a big thick support coming out holding the actual mainframe coming down the middle hidden in the back of it but once that's cut I can just put that in place and that's going to be that shelf complete and then my sleeping bags which I've put up there 
out of the way, I'll transfer down into that cupboard and I'll arrange them to how I actually use them just to make as uh, much benefit of that space as possible. I don't want to have gaps and spaces everywhere, so I just want to be able to make it fit nice. Well, that's what we've done today. Yeah, that's it. I was quite surprised we had enough wood to get that far. And there's some of the offcuts he's going to do that piece on the side, like I've just said, I want to get done before I actually finish that, finish that shelf off to go in there. Uh, some of the offcuts we'll be able to do down the bottom where I'm building the little shoe, um, the shelves for the, my shoes and my boots and my cleaning gear. We've got quite a bit done today. Quite surprised. What time is it now? It's just gone. 1.30 in the afternoon and I'm going to have to close them blinds. The heat's starting to come through, hitting the actual window. Uh, yeah, I'm pleased with what I've got done. I've got the uh, my sleep mats up there, which is where they're going to live. Uh, I've got my Nemo Foldout Z um, pad. Uh, I've got a cheaper one, which was about $20 beside that. With a reflective on it, I got from one of the local stores here. Uh, not a camping store, it's just a general cheapy store where you can go in and get some clothes or you can get something for the kitchen, you get something for this, something for that. In America, a little bit like Walmart, but not as big. Uh, I've got the Savata uh, mat up there. To, uh, what else? Yeah, sleep bag, winter one, winter one. I've got my uh, ammunition box with my food in and I've got food in front and on top because that's full and overflowing the two boxes I'll sort out so by the time I sorted them out and the boxes down the bottom then boxes won't live up there uh, like I said I've got another tent that's going to be going up along the top of this one when it's finished and I'll clear some space in one of the other rooms yeah like I said I'm pleased what I'm going to do Next is I just started doing this sound dead air. I've just started fitting that underneath there. Just seeing how it, uh, easy it is. And instead of doing pretty stick and or uh, not pretty stick, the uh, Velcro and everything on the back and stick it on. I'm just using a staple gun. You can't see the staples, and it's up out there, and it does exactly the same job. So. I'll get on with that later and I'll start the next video with, with doing that piece and trying to think what else I can get done oh, I've got to nip back up the hardware store uh, get a, another powerpoint which will be living down below the shelf below the corner there which is like it's going to be the electrics It's not going to run much power because it's only going to be for the lights. These ones underneath the LEDs. So, yeah, they only get slightly warm, the first one. Then not as warm. Then a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler. Let's go around. Yeah, all the way around. Because the main power is coming into the first one. Then they're drawing off that one. It's drawing off the second. Third one's drawing off the second one. Fourth one's drawing off the third one. But I, I like the look of that, the, the way the lights are. Didn't want anything bright and in your eyes. So once I've got the, the wood uh, backing on there, I think that just look nice in there. I like it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click the notification bell next to it and select all. So you'll be notified of all future videos and thumbs up the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, Again, I thank you very much.